Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. I'm using a Graco 395 airless sprayer to paint this small kitchen ceiling. And I just want to give you some quick tips. First of all, the, we're spraying over a texture. A lot of times if you paint over texture on a ceiling in humid uh, climates, such as the one in Florida, the, uh, and we've already seen this in the other room that had the same texture. The texture, it doesn't adhere well for one of two reasons. First of all, the people who put this texture on did not properly prime. I'm gonna move closer to the light. Sorry about that, we're in the dark because we had to take out all the lights so that we can paint all the cans above them. The texture, in this case, you can tell that uh, once the texture came down in the other room, the ceiling wasn't primed. If your texture just comes off and you have bare sheetrock, it's because the thing wasn't primed. A lot of these builders and a lot of uh, people in the trades, they cut corners. One of the ways by which they cut corners in painting is to go right over sheetrock with texture. Can you do it? We do it all the time. When you put mud on uh, drywall, that's, that's the same material that texture is. But if you're gonna put a texture which is, which is painted, uh, normally you paint texture on a ceiling over the years. You should put a primer underneath it so that the texture sticks to the primer. Well, we didn't want to chance it. If we were to roll this, we would have to use something, uh, a roller that's pretty thick, at least three quarters inch. I like to use one and a quarter inch uh, roller that's real plush. The problem with that is it produces a lot of suction when you roll the roller back and forth. If the texture is compromised in its attachment to the ceiling in any degree. That roller is so strong, the suction, when you roll over it, it'll pull it right down. And then you have a nightmare trying to match a very unique texture. So what we decided to do was simply spray the ceiling indoors. And I just wanna show you around. The masking that we used, we used 11 foot plastic masking. Right at the soffit all around the uh, room, we put nine inch brown masking paper. Okay, we attached that with uh, 3M masking tape and draped it down. So we first have a layer of masking paper. We don't attach the plastic directly to the, uh, the wall because we don't have, uh, we didn't use a spool to roll the plastic onto the walls. We just pulled the plastic out of a box and then we attached it with tape. But the hand masker that we use, it's a tool that actually rolls paper off of it. And so that we used all around the room and then we simply attached the plastic to it. You need the plastic and you have to create a seal. If you look at the top, the whole plastic drape is attached on every linear inch with tape. So there's no uh, fan of paint getting in, no wind of paint getting in beyond where the tape is. So we seal it off. What does that mean? We're hot. It's a, it's a hot box. But the result is beautiful. If you look at the cans on the ceiling, we hit them three times. We give them a fog coat. We just spray a little bit in and out of those cans. And then we, we do it again because over the years, they get really dirty. And so we wind up spraying them three times. I'll show you what I mean by fog coat. Well, you just take your sprayer and you want to give a couple of uh, hits on the um, <coughs> on these cans on these um, in fact I'm not going to do this one because it's already has as much paint on it as it can take let me show you what I mean by fog coat do this three times and these will be completely covered that's it those couple of squirts if you do that three times, you get a nice, rich white color over it. Okay, I'm just going to um, uh, go over my corners again, and then I'll be done with the ceiling. After this, we'll give it a couple of minutes for the, for the dust to settle onto our drop cloth, pull the plastic down, our ceiling's done. If you try to roll this, you most likely pull the ceiling down. If you're, if you're rolling paint on popcorn or a texture, like this, you really don't know what you're getting into until you start rolling it. Once you start rolling it and it comes down, stop. Because you're better off uh, fixing that with an oil-based primer. It, it acts like a glue. And then you can do a repair 
uh, it looks a lot better than uh, just pulling down the ceiling and try to match it, you know, all over the place. If you just if it starts coming down with a roller, just stop right there, go to a sprayer, and do the do the minor repair where you pull it down. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan as wallpaper. These are a couple of tips on painting a ceiling with an airless sprayer. This is a 211 tip, which gives me a four inch fan. The tip that has the starts with the number two gives you four inches of fan. Not a lot, I agree, but we're indoors and we don't want a tornado of uh, silica dust going all over the place. So we use the small fan, it takes a little more time, but it has a lot more control over the amount of paint that comes out of the sprayer, okay? I have my pressure on the sprayer reduced to about half, and so it uh, gives me a nice even layer of paint on the whole ceiling. If you have any questions or uh, comments about this video, please let me know in the comments section below. Uh, likes or dislikes, let me know. Let me know how you do it. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan's Wallpaper. See you in the next one.